Hi, it's Rodney from Whole World Band here, and today I'm going to show you how to do uh, electronic music using Whole World Band. And I have a very simple setup today. I have a Korg Volca Beats drum machine and a Korg Volca bass line. And I'm just going to use the internal speakers of these devices. You hear what they're like there. And record those using the internal microphone of my iPad. I'm just running this on the uh, iPad, you can run it on your iPhone, or you can download the Mac or Windows app and use those as well. So, to get started, I need to press the camera button, and that will bring me into my studio, and then I can tap on Create a Video. So I'm going to create a video, and that's going to give me uh, an empty arranger screen, and some empty slots for my takes. So I want to do some takes. Let's press the record button and that opens up the camera. Now immediately this brings up the tempo MIDI screen. So talking of MIDI, let's actually add some MIDI. Now I want to synchronize these together and to do that I will need a MIDI interface. Today I'm just going to use this small iRig MIDI 2 interface which as you can see works with an iPad or an iPhone and has MIDI out. So I'm going to put this into my lightning port on the computer. And uh, you see it's been detected here. It says a MIDI device has been found. OK. And then I need to take a MIDI cable. And I will take the, put the MIDI cable into my MIDI out. So that's sending the MIDI from the iPad into the iRig, out of the iRig from this cable, and then into the MIDI in socket on my Volca Beats machine. So this means that the MIDI tempo signal will be sent from the iPad to the iRig to the Korg. So now when I, I can tap my tempo here, and I can either set my tempo by using the sliders here, or I can just tap it. One, two, three, four. And it will automatically pick up the tempo I'm tapping with. So as soon as I start recording, that tempo of 98 BPM will be sent to my devices, and they will play back in time. So let's save that. OK, all i got to do now is hit record, and that will automatically start my drum machine via the MIDI signal, and I can record that straight into my iPad microphone. Okay, that'll do. We just hit stop. And now we can hear what I've just recorded played back. Let's have a listen to that. Uh -huh. Sounds pretty good. I'm going to keep that, so I hit continue. And now when I hit continue, I can enter a name for my song. Let's call it uh, Electro One. Simple enough. And then for songwriting, this is going to be an original song. And then under Select an Instrument, I'm going to select Drums. And we're done. And hit Save. And now it saves that take. I mean, this is a pretty boring video lo looking video because all you're seeing is the camera, I'm the phone I'm using to record this with. But you get the idea. All right, now let's do another track, and let's do a bass line this time. So I'm going to hit the camera here on my second take. And now I'm going to take the MIDI cable out of my Korg uh, Volca Beats. I'm going to put it into my bass line. So now the bass line will be triggered uh, when I set the recording instead of the drum machine. I'm just going to plug my headphones back in again so that we're not getting any feedback. All right, so let's record a second track. Again, all I have to do is hit record, and then the MIDI will automatically fire off my bass line. Here we go. Okay, let's hear how that sounds. Pretty good, I like that. Let's hit continue. 
And we've already got the song in for him. We've just got to select an instrument. So let's select bass. Hit save. And now we have a second track. So I'm going to drag these two tracks into my arranger here to mix them together. And uh, now when I hit mix audio, we should hear the drums and the bass together in perfect time. There we go. It's just the drum machine on its own. Just the bass line on its own. I think it sounds great. Let's leave it at that. Just turn them both up full. We'll hit edit. That takes us to the video mixer. We don't really do need to do much video mixing here because the camera is pretty still. Uh, if I wanted to, I could have them one or both. Let's just hit save. And now it's saving that mix of my drums and my bass line together. Uh, there's my video. Okay, there's the, my completed video. I can now select my genre here. Let's call it uh, Dance Electronic. I can put in some song in for some video notes, that's fine. And now I just need to upload my video. And as soon as I upload my video, it will go to Whole World Band, and it's being uploading right there, as you can see. And the tempo information, you can see it's got a little metronome icon there. The tempo information is saved with it. That means that anyone else who comes along who has an electronic device and a MIDI interface can have their sequencer or their drum machine running in perfect time as well. So you can put up some loops or some other drums or uh, using MIDI, or you can just use acoustic instruments or sing or whatever you want to do. And I can share this to Facebook or YouTube or Twitter, whatever I want. Maybe I want to share it to my friends. I send it to my friends on Facebook. And, uh, hey, uh, uh, add some stuff to this. Okay, it's time to add some stuff to it. I'll send it to my friends and hit share and away it goes. And now it's going straight to Facebook and it's on Facebook and my friends can see what I've done. So that's how to do electronic music in Whole World Band. It's very quick, it's very simple. Uh, having the MIDI synchronization makes it so much easier, it's worth doing. If you have a professional audio interface, obviously I'm, you'll get better quality. I'm just using the internal microphone of the iPad, but you can even get pretty decent quality with a very, very simple, cheap system like this. It's a, it's a lot of fun. So uh, check it out and uh, rig up your stuff to Whole World Band and uh, get on the system. I'll see you guys there.